Have you ever wondered how password cracking works? This is where we delve into the fascinating world of cybersecurity and explore the mechanisms behind password cracking. It's a process that's much more intricate than you might imagine. We're talking about techniques that range from simple guessing, where an individual tries to figure out your password based on information they know about you, to more complex methods like dictionary attacks, which involve systematically entering every word in a dictionary as a potential password. Then there's brute force, a method that tests every possible combination of characters until it finds the correct one. We also have rainbow tables, pre-computed tables for reversing cryptographic hash functions used to crack password hashes. And let's not forget about phishing, the deceptive practice of obtaining sensitive information such as usernames, passwords, and credit card details by disguising oneself as a trustworthy entity. Knowing how these methods work can help you protect your own information better. So, let's dive in and learn more about password cracking. Now let's delve deeper into each step. First up, we have guessing. This is as simple as it sounds. The attacker tries out common passwords. You know, things like password 123, QWERTY, or even 123456. If you're using any of these, it might be time for a change. Next, we have dictionary attacks. Now, this isn't about throwing a Webster's at someone's computer. In this context, a dictionary is a list of possible passwords. The attacker systematically tries every password in that list until they find a match. Then, we have brute force attacks. This is where the attacker tries all possible combinations of characters. It's like trying to guess a combination lock by starting with 000 and going all the way to 999. It's time-consuming, but it can be effective. Rainbow tables come next. These are pre-computed hash functions. Imagine having a cheat sheet with all the answers before you take the test. That's kind of what a rainbow table is. It can dramatically speed up the cracking process. Lastly, we have phishing. This is where the attacker tricks the user into revealing their passwords. They might send an email pretending to be your bank, asking you to confirm your password. It's sneaky, but sadly it works all too often. These methods require different levels of effort and sophistication, but they all have one thing in common. They're all designed to crack your password. So, what's the big picture here? Password cracking is a real threat, employing methods like brute force, dictionary attacks, and rainbow tables. It not only jeopardizes your online presence, but also threatens personal security. The key to protection, strong, unique passwords, the more complex and less predictable, the better. Don't underestimate the power of a good password. It's your first line of defense against cyber threats acting as a digital fortress. Remember, your password is your first line of defense. Make it a strong one. This is Alessandro El Sharkawi signing off.